Welcome to Video Culinary. This is my grandma Emma. Hi. I am Daniela, and today we're making homemade Mars bars. Make the soft dairy caramel. Place 300 grams of sugar and 400 milliliters of cream in a pan with high sides. Bring to boil, stirring to dissolve the sugar. Be careful, the caramel bubbles up. Add 200 grams of glucose syrup and continue cooking, stirring constantly until the caramel reaches 110 degrees Celsius. Turn off the heat, add a pinch of salt and 15 grams of butter. Set aside to cool. Spread the cold caramel filling on a sheet of parchment paper. Place a second sheet of parchment paper on top and roll into a half centimeter thick rectangle. Remove the parchment paper. Make the chocolate nougat. Separate three eggs. We won't be using the egg yolks for this recipe. Place them in an airtight container and keep in the fridge until ready to use. Place the egg whites in the bowl of a stem mixer. Combine 75 grams of honey, 150 grams of glucose syrup, 75 milliliters of water and 150 grams of sugar in a saucepan and set over medium heat. Stirring constantly, bring to 130 to 140 degrees Celsius. Start whipping three egg whites on medium speed in the bowl of a stand mixer until frothy. Add a pinch of salt. Turn the speed on to high and gradually add the hot syrup. Continue whipping for a few minutes until stiff and the nougat reaches room temperature. Melt 90 grams of chocolate in a bowl over simmering water or in the microwave. Turn off the mixer, add the chocolate and mix gently. Add 20 grams of cocoa powder and mix gently. Spread the chocolate nougat over the caramel and set aside for 48 hours to dry. After 48 hours, place in the freezer for about 20 minutes. Remove from the freezer and cut into bars of 8 by 2 cm.
place the bars in the freezer to make them easier to work with. To cover the Mars with chocolate, it has to be tempered first. Tempering chocolate is the process of melting chocolate and then cooling it down, while following specific steps to get the right type of cocoa butter crystals to form. Chocolate that has been tempered is glossy and has a sharp snap. Untempered chocolate will bloom and develop white spots and streaks. In this recipe, we'll temper the chocolate using the seeding method. You'll find other tempering techniques on the tricks and tips section on our website videoculinary.com. If you don't want to temper chocolate, just use compound chocolate, which doesn't contain cocoa butter. Place 300 grams of milk chocolate in a dry bowl, set over simmering water and melt, stirring gently. Heat to 41 degrees Celsius. The temperature range for this step is 40 to 45 degrees Celsius. Remove from the heat. Add about 150 grams of chocolate that has already been tempered. A chocolate bar would be perfect for this. You could add it in one chunk or in small pieces. Keep adding chocolate and mixing it in until all of the chocolate has melted. Stop adding chocolate when it stops melting and remove any unmelted chunks. Place the bowl over simmering water and heat the chocolate to 29 to 31 degrees Celsius, stirring constantly. Be careful, if the temperature climbs above 31 degrees Celsius, you'll have to start tempering all over again. Use two forks to dip the Mars bars into the chocolate. Tap the forks against the edge of the bowl to let the excess chocolate drip off. Place the bars on parchment paper until set. Thank you so much for joining us today. Visit our website videoculinary.com to find sneakers bars, bounty bars, a giant Twix bar, and other easy to follow recipes. See you next time, bye! Bye bye!